And we're back for our next Mother's Day poem lesson. Um, like I said, we are doing uh, two Mother's Day poem lessons. Um, because we're kind of taking a two-day break here. Um, before we get back into our regular poem lessons. Um, so I'm going to open up uh, Mother's Day poem lesson number two. You're going to see that there are, should be probably only be three steps. Step one is to watch this video, or I should say to open this video and watch the one that you're watching right now. Step two is to open this notes about the lesson. And then the last one is um, you're just going to make sure to submit um, all about Mother's Day poems into that uh, media album folder. That way I can send them to your families. Um, but so step two, though, you're gonna you're really going to need this again. Just like with the last lesson, there's going to be a lot of things in here that are going to help you, some templates and examples. Um, and it really, and I even have an example poem for you to use today. But step two, open this for notes about the lesson. I'm going to touch that now. I'm going to start by reading the goal up at the top. Read it with me and I can use parts. Ready? I can use parts of speech and creative word choice to create a Mother's Day poem. So parts of speech means things like verbs, adjectives, um, thinking of what nouns. So th that's just parts of speech or grammar. And we're also going to be using creative word choice. So it's, you're really just trying to think about good word choice. Kind of like we did in the last one with figurative language and similes. So step one, use this template to create your poem. So when I was saying that you're going to need these, these notes. So step two is open this notes for the, about the lesson. Just like in the first lesson for Mother's Day poems, you're going to need these. You're going to need this. So use this template to create your poem. So line one, you're going to just, you're going to write the word mother or mom or whatever name for mom. Um, yes, you know, so whatever, whatever, whatever you want to say, mommy or mama or ma or whatever you want to write. Line two, two verbs for actions that describe mom. And you're going to be saying something like likes to blank and likes to blank. And so you're going to see down below, I have my poem example. So like that first line, I said, mom likes to read and likes to go for walks. So that's what I mean by likes to, like two things that she likes to do, like two actions. So mine is reading and going for walks. Line three, three adjectives to describe mom. Remember an adjective is a description word. So blank, blank, and blank. I wrote caring, funny, and smart. Line four, who feels, that's where you can write, decide what you ever want to write for that. I said, who feels strongly about helping people. Or you could write, who feels caring for other people. Who feels uh, like she should help as many people as she can. Who feels, who feels like a very nice and caring person. So you're just going to write, you're going to try to add that idea in. But that's where you can use mine to kind of help give you an idea of like what to write for that. Line five, who does, and for mine I wrote, who does everything for us. Six, who gives, and I wrote, who gives so much of her time for us. Number seven, I love her for, I wrote, I love her for loving me no matter what. Then line eight is the same line as your line number one. So I wrote, mom mom again so you're going to use these ideas here to help you on this one but i'm going to um just read my whole poem so you can be, see it so it's step two use this as an example to help create your poem make sure to give it a title i wrote all about my mom if you want to write use that you can too or you can just call it mom or you can call it my mom whatever you want to call it put a title mom likes to read and likes to go for walks caring funny and smart who feels strongly about helping people, who does everything for us, who gives so much of her time for us. I love her for loving me no matter what. Mom. Okay, step three, read these coaching tips. Use the template to help create the lines. So you're going to be using um, that template right there. Um, you can use your own ideas instead of using the template if you want to. You don't have to use the template. If you want to change it up, change some of those words totally fine you do what you want make sure to reread your poem when you're done make sure each line or sentence ends on a comma or a period all mine were ended in periods think about your mom as you write your lines have fun um when you're done make sure to send it back to schoology if you can't get it to work in schoology send it to um google chat um 
or even like CESA, but make sure to send it to me so I can send it to your family. Use these ideas too. If you really are stuck, come back and use my ideas for help, or you can always ask me. Um, but just take your time. Um, I know I already have a poem in here, so you didn't get to really see me modeling or practicing that, just having to sit and think. But take your time. These are poems I don't want you to rush through today. And um, and you can do more than one of these if you want to. You can do lots of these if you want to. And you can even do it for other people in your family if you'd like to, too. But have fun with us, everybody. And I can't wait to see them. Bye.